What's up guys, it's Supercar Blondie here in Dubai and I have something super special for you. This right here, look, it's the Maserati MC20 here in real life. Oh my goodness, first time I'm seeing it in real life. A massive thank you to Maserati for bringing this car over from Italy so we can have a better look through it. I'm so excited about this and a massive thank you to Altaya Motors for actually making this happen, bringing it to me here in Dubai. So let's have a look around. First impressions, guys. I, you know, when I first saw this, I said, I wish there was a bit more drama, but now that I'm seeing it in real life, I'm actually quite impressed. I think it looks beautiful. So you've got a redesigned Maserati Trident here. Okay, and that Trident is gonna be featured now on all future Maseratis. And here in the headlights, I really like this detail here. Look, you've got the little Maserati written here. While this is still kind of a prototype in some ways, what it does have is the exact engine that the production MC20 will have. So come around with me. You've got it here, MC20. Maserati Corsa 2020, that's what that stands for. And right here, you guys, is what we're working with. So this is a twin turbo V6, and this produces about 630 horsepower. What you're looking at, guys, is the car that has been actually tested on the track. This is the real deal, and we're gonna hear it. We're gonna rev it and see what this MC20 is gonna sound like. What's up, what's up, hey, what's what up? Hey, what's up? Serge, it's the Serge Meister, what's wow. up? So, um. I've been wanting this, this looks absolutely crazy. <laughs> this looks so much better He's like, person. the MC20's here, oh my God, I'm coming down. Yeah, I know, you think I was gonna wait upstairs, seriously? <laughs> I was like, wow. So, what I think is super cool about this, you guys, and the first thing I wanna really emphasize is this is the first time Maserati has butterfly doors. I know. Oh, wow. Maserati with butterfly doors. That is sick. How cool is that you guys? That's what you want to see on a supercar, right? Doesn't that just give it yeah, so that much looks, drama? That's like next level. That is awesome. This is the sickest Maserati I've ever seen. <laughs> you love Maserati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one is like <laughs> Gran Turismo has a similar front with the grille kind of going inwards. Yes. Yeah. So there's um, some similarities in design to the Gran Turismo. Actually, more so around the back. If we yeah. go around the back, yeah. there's a little bit of a Gran Turismo vibe, but instead it's kind of squished. So the headlights, instead of being bigger, they've kind of been squished and elongated along the back of the, the car, which I think looks great. And I'm actually way more impressed by it here in real life. Did you show them this, the Maserati? Yeah, uh, I love vent. this design detail, you guys. Instead of just having air vents, you know, in a line or whatever, what they've done is they've made it in the shape of the Trident, which I love. Yeah, that's sick. That is awesome. When you picture a Maserati, it's usually the engine in the front, right? And you've got a boot at the back. What they've done is they've actually kind of flipped it, flipped it and reversed it. I put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. And that so just like, like, was a, that your like attempt at like rapping or something? Yeah, well, that was like, that sounded like uh, Missy Elliott or something. <laughs> no, it won't happen again, sorry about that. This is a new era for Maserati. They are going for mid-engine cars now. So let's have a look at what we're working with. Get the key out. When you open the boot, you've got a little trunk space here in the back. So what they're, what they're saying is in their class category, yeah. right? This is the best power to weight ratio. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care about that stuff, but it looks really cool. <laughs> it looks really cool for and the And let's be honest, most yeah. people don't. They just yeah. want something that looks cool and sounds great. And this delivers. And this is it. So this is the only, only MC20 in the world. Okay, this is still kind of a prototype that is being showcased around the world. I'm very lucky to have my hands, get my hands on it today in Dubai. So just ignore kind of things like this because it's still like a work in progress. Come look at this, guys. This kind of blue and black interwoven here. That's beautiful. And this is super cool. This is how you open the door with a door button. Uh, yeah. Super cool, hey? Do you want to pop in the yeah, passenger absolutely. side? Actually considering buying one of these, what do you reckon, Serge? Absolutely. <laughs> Got the Serge tick of approval. Okay, so it's just it's this easy. Put on the brake, start stop button. 
Nice. All right. All right. Give it a little rev so he can hear what it sounds like. Right? Like experiential, isn't yeah, it? I yeah, love yeah. that. This is actually the first time in 22 years that Maserati is building their own engines. They actually used to borrow them from Ferrari. So here is your steering wheel yep. with the start stop button on the left and then launch control on the right, the all important launch control button. Yeah, You've just easy. discovered yours in the X6. Yeah, but I have to press like five buttons. This is just like launch. Yeah, that's yeah. what I love yeah. about that. Now this here is actually your drive mode selector so you can switch that around to the left and the right. It's interesting. It looks like it looks like a watch a little bit. It looks yeah. uh it's it's it's, I've never seen anything like no, that. No, that's different to any other drive mode selector I've seen. And there's a button in the middle. There's a button. We love buttons. That yep. one's for the suspension. So you can adjust the suspension. Now, obviously, drive, or you can flick it into manual uh -huh. if you want, and to use the pedal shifters here on the steering wheel, which are in this beautiful carbon fiber. These guys, they flap, but they curve in with the cabin, which yeah. I have. I mean, you've seen more supercars than yeah, I have, but no, I've never seen that in a no, supercar. That's beautiful. So this is actually magnetic, too. Just usually it's a button. That's cool. Yeah, pretty cool. I like it. Let me try. Oh, that feels nice. Yeah, it Ooh. does. Oh, I like that. You just while you drive, you can just do it <laughs> all the time. <laughs> and it break literally like yours would break in two seconds. So you just. It's boom. like one of those fidgety Ooh. things that you do yeah. for fun. Like well, I, I would like do that, that all the time. That it's feels nice. great. It is. Interior wise, you've got this little floating screen, which is quite nice. Yeah. And if we turn it on again, Maserati oh. logo comes up, except. Oh. And this is all touch screen, so that's really nice. Look yeah, at this! I've never seen that in a supercar. Ah, oh, very cool! Yeah, no, nice. I haven't seen that in a supercar either. So you can use the normal mirror or you flick that up and you've got the digital oh. one. So yeah, that is cool. awesome. So I like how they've actually gone for some some tech in this yeah, car. They've yeah, not yeah. just fully stripped it down. Yeah, yeah. Like it's comfortable as well. How do you feel in it the is. seats? It is pretty comfortable. I like it a lot. Oh, I think I need it's to like, buy this car. Yeah, I think you should too. Oh, I really like it. Yeah, I like it. Oh, mad. Okay, should we go for a drive? Let's do it. Let's do it. Holy moly, this is awesome. Feels super light. Oh, I love this. Oh, well, now I understand what they were talking about with the power to weight ratio. I cannot wait to actually really get a hold of one of these that I can push because I would love to feel that power with such a lightweight car. Okay, where does this sit in the whole supercar spectrum, right? Yeah. This is about the same price category as your Lamborghini Huracan Evo, okay. your McLaren 720S, right. your F8 Tributo from Ferrari. It's about $250,000. Okay. That's the starting price. Cool. But what's cool is like this, it's kind of has the same uh, output as well, like the same specs. So 2.9 seconds are at 100. That's the same as my 720S. Um, and also the horsepower, 630 horsepower is the exact same as the Hurricane Evo. Yeah. I mean, I think it, it, it looks amazing. I mean, at, at that price range, I think that this is one of the nicest looking cars. Yeah. If but not would you most, buy I... this over, for example, a, a McLaren 720S, you know? Actually, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I I like the shape of it so much. I think that visually, yeah. to me, this is okay. Perfect. So this you think if I brought product. my 720s up here next to it, that you would choose? Well, yours is completely pimped out. Right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, for me, uh, if this car was two hundred thousand dollars, I'd be like hands down, I would buy it. Two hundred fifty, I'm in the let me think about it a little bit more zone. So how good are you at negotiating? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, can you, get <laughs> can you give me 50 grand off? They're like, no, no. Guys, what do you think? Should I get one? Is it worth it? $250,000. Just comment, put your, put your comment down below. They're actually going to make this petrol version, right? Okay. But they're also going to make a convertible version yes. and an all electric version. So yeah. I'm excited to see the all electric yeah. version as well. I me think too. that would be quite cool. That's it. I think we're out. Let's do it. We'll catch you on the next vid. Love you guys. Right. Bye.